Hey guys, it's me again, Mr. Joshua, with another Gundam MSA review, and today we're reviewing a custom Zaku tube that I just received in the mail that I, you know, modified a little bit. But uh, yeah, this is just your standard Zaku tube. Obviously, the first thing you're probably going to realize is that it's missing the uh, leg cables, which is totally fine. I'm going to play it off and say that maybe he was a, a version 1 Zaku that the guy reamped on him. I'm actually going to fill in those little uh, cable holes pretty soon. Cables are hard to come by, unfortunately, unless you want to spend like fucking five bucks a piece on them, which I'm not going to do. Maybe I can rise and cast them. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to, you know, fill those up. Anyways, back to review. This is a custom Zaku 2 that I worked on yesterday. Um, everything about them is, you know, the same as a regular Zaku 2, except for, you know, no leg cables or anything like that. And uh, when, I, when I bought this guy in the mail, he came in the mail about two weeks ago. And uh, he came with a Zaku 1 arm and the little shoulder pad thing that was, you know, a, a light blue, like, you know, this color right here. Pretty sure it came from uh, Rambo, Rambo Raw. Is that how you say it? You know, the badass from Gundam, the Xeon dude with the uh, gallop. Anyways, um, yeah, he came with the uh, Zaki one arm, and I was sitting there, you know, checking it out. You know, my mind was, you know, going around a little bit, and I was like, you know what? I can make this guy to look like maybe he's a kind of like a junk Zaki type thing where somebody found him and kind of just, you know, gave him some upgrade parts. Gave me some used parts and such, and this is what I came up with. Um, the uh, two shoulder pads in the arm that I recolored, that's not paint, that's uh, that's a dye that I used, and it will not scratch off. Um, actually, li literally, the only way you can scratch that off is if you take some, uh, you know, sandpaper. Yeah, take some sandpaper, and you can actually scrape it off if you try really, really, really hard, like, you know, press your thumb against it, push all your mind, just start scraping like a bitch. But yeah, you'll eventually get all that all, all, all that dye out of there if you scrape it up. But if you scrape it up, you're gonna just destroy your figure. And if you take your fingernail to it and try to scrape off the dye, it won't, you know, scratch off or anything like that, so you can do whatever you want with it. But yeah, I just thought I would share this guy with, with you guys. And he's pretty cool looking, you know? He really is. It's pretty unique. Maybe... I can play him off as like, like a special pilot that commands him or something, or maybe he's a captain. Yeah, I'm a captain because I have one black arm. That's right. But anyways, yeah, and it's just you know, he, he he's pretty cool. I I, I like him, and uh, I'm actually going to be doing another review on a custom. Uh, what are they called? It's where Zaku and GM are kind of like combined into one. Zanny, there we go. I have a Zanny Zaki one captured the GM head that I'm working on right now. I would like to show you guys right now, but I can't because he's in the process of being battle scarred and kind of ruin the uh, surprise for you guys. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for that video. That's going to be coming up pretty short, about a week or so. Because you know, I've I've got work. I work you know almost ten hour shifts every night, so. But uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more custom Gundam MSI reviews. Thanks.